Coming up on Oregon News Update, Avengers Infinity War's record opening weekend. Plus, we'll take a look at the Columbia River Gorge Fire and a Wildfire Awareness Month event coming up this weekend. All this and more coming up on Oregon News Update. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Oregon News Update. I'm Emma Childs. This past weekend was a huge one for Marvel as they set a new record for the highest opening weekend of all time, earning $268 million in box offices. Infinity War played at more than 4,000 theaters in North America, and people all over went to see two dozen superheroes unite for the very first time. According to the Associated Press, Marvel's new movie, Avengers Infinity War passed Star Wars earning its spot at the top of the charts. Disney now owns nine of the top 10 opening weekends in history, with six belonging to Marvel releases. Many trails in the Columbia Gorge have been closed to the public for safety and restoration. The Oregon Parks and Recreation Department and the Oregon Department of Transportation have deemed many of the trails unsafe. The department said the parks and roads still need more time to recover from last summer's Eagle Creek fire. If you intend to go hiking or visit the gorge anytime soon, be aware that many of the sites that remain closed are east of Bridalvale Falls. Be also aware that trespassing on these sites can result in arrest and $1,000 fines. There is no timeline for these trails reopening. You can visit the U.S. Forest Service website for more information. With warmer weather and wildfire season approaching, wildfire safety and preparedness has been a hot topic throughout Oregon. Saturday is National Wildfire Preparedness Day, and the governors of Oregon and nine other states are calling May Wildfire Awareness Month. Six Oregon communities were granted $500 to host events and activities to promote wildfire safety. In 2017, 664,000 acres burned in Oregon. Less than half of these fires were caused by humans. Saturday serves as an opportunity for homeowners in Oregon to reduce the risk of their home being fuel for a wildfire. Wildfire ecologist John Bailey at Oregon State University has a few recommendations for homeowners. Put their firewood in the right place, clean their gutters, don't have a bunch of weeds under their wooden deck, you know, all the kind of things that burn houses down. You can get involved with Wildfire Preparedness Day in your community by visiting the National Fire Protection Association website. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease, no pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter, but this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, cause the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Whoopinkoff is making a comeback during the spring season as 12 students have been diagnosed at Sheldon High School. It's now being called an outbreak. School officials are not allowing students to attend school until they can show proof of receiving the vaccine or until they've been treated. Whooping cough is highly contagious respiratory disease and is spread through direct contact. Officials say every case of whooping cough causes 15 others. Covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze and washing your hands consistently are two ways you can protect yourself from this disease. Now let's take a look at today's weather forecast. After a rainy weekend, things are looking dry in Eugene today with partly cloudy skies. Expect a high of 60 and a low of 40. Heading westward, Portland is, isn't much different. Expect also mostly cloudy, but with a slight chance of rain. The sun should start peeking through the clouds in the early evening. Heading over to Corvallis, where things are looking partly cloudy and reaching a high of 61 degrees and dropping into the 40 degree range. Portland food truck Boba Blastic is coming to Eugene. The company is hosting its grand opening tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Franklin Boulevard. This is the first of two locations opening in the Eugene area. Boba Blastic serves bubble tea, poke bowls, and sweet treats such as chocolate covered bananas and strawberries. Tomorrow only, they are running a special if you buy one drink, you get the second free. For more information about the company and their grand opening, you can visit their website at bobablastic.com. Thanks for watching. 
Join us tomorrow for another episode of Oregon News Update.